so next uh, i would like to explain flow charts in c language okay so actually what is the meaning of a flow chart so it is nothing but a diagrammatical representation of a program or a algorithm is called as flow charts now it is going to show all the program execution the sequence program execution sequence in the form of diagrams small small pictures or you can also define a flow chart as a, a pictorial representation of a problem algorithm or program is called as what flow chart so in the flow chart we are going to use many symbols for representing flow of execution for representing flow of execution we are going to make use of many symbols so the symbols i will explain here the first symbol to be used in flow chart is what this arrow mark okay so this is going to indicate what flow of execution flow line this is called as flow line next second symbol is the symbol is especially for starting or ending a flow chart that means to denote to indicate that program has started okay so the program will be initiated with the start symbol start or start uh, stop symbol that means at the beginning of the program and ending the pro ending of the program so this symbol must be given and next one next is symbol is <coughs> now this symbol is for processing this is for processing now this is for input output for input and output operators operations you can use these symbols this symbol and for a decision making we have to use like this symbol this is called rhombus this is decision making decision making decision making <coughs> next uh, symbol connector now when a flow chart is exceeding one page okay so we are going to end the flow chart with uh, this symbol and the next page we are going to continue the same flow chart with uh, this symbol so so that is why this is called as a connector for the flow chart so these symbols we are going to use in the flow charts okay first symbol is flow line and second symbol is this is start or stop means a flow chart can be started or can be stopped by using this symbol and this is for processing and for input and output operations this symbol and for decision making this symbol and for connector this symbol must be used okay just i will write a small flow chart for uh, adding two numbers okay for adding two numbers flow chart for adding two numbers flow chart for adding two numbers so we start the flow chart with start symbol as we have discussed in the previous uh, diagrams and read two numbers so how to read the two numbers by using this symbol <coughs> input or you say read a comma b and for processing use c equal to a plus b for displaying output again this is input this is input or uh, this is what processing processing you display output again using this symbol print print c and close the flow chart by using this symbol stop like this this is a flow chart small flow chart for 
adding two numbers okay this is going to ask two numbers from uh, keyboard so on the two numbers it is going to calculate the sum finally it is going to display some value okay in the form of c so finally we can stop the flow chart by using this symbol <coughs> and whenever uh, time comes if uh, requirement is there definitely i will explain that particular program in the form of flow chart and we are going to discuss uh, so few more uh, input functions these are called get ch get char get char and put char so for uh, single character input and output we may use these symbols get char and put char symbols get char put char so get char function is going to take a value from keyboard and put char function whatever you, you are uh, taken the uh, value from the keyboard that uh, that value if you wanted to print that can be printed by using put char functions and uh, two more functions i have to discuss here so what are the two more functions get this function and printf scan if percentage s function scan if percentage s see get s function scan if percentage s function both are uh, both are used for reading strings from keyboard both are used for reading strings from keyboard but the difference is and the scan if function is going to read all the characters one by one and the reading process will be stopped whenever it encounters a space symbol a space like um, like what computer education computer education so in between computer and education a space is allocated a space is there okay so to read all these uh, all these characters including uh, space uh, use get s and uh, scan if percentage is uh, yeah, percent percentage is uh, cannot read this kind of spaces that means up to computer only it can read scan if percentage is function so if you want to read computer education including blank space we have to use get s function the main difference is once again i will explain scan if percentage is function will be stopping the reading characters whenever it encounters space spaces cannot be read by scan if percentage is function so if you want to read strings including spaces like this computer education okay then you have to use what get s function okay once again i will explain get s function is going to read entire strings including uh, spaces that means whenever a space is encountered in between two strings get s function can read the space but scan if percentage s cannot read such kind of spaces whenever it encounters a space automatically the reading process will be terminated means if you want to read this string computer education and after computer education one space is there after one space education is uh, education is there so automatically it, it can read only computer it cannot read education because in between computer and education a space is there but here whole string including uh, space computer space education can be read by get s function that is the difference between get s and scan if percentage s function both are for reading strings okay scan if function when compared to get s function it is uh, somewhat uh, uh different function but it can read any kind of information like it can read integers floating point numbers short integers unsigned integers signed integers double long all numbers it can read but when it wanted to read strings the the, the control string the format specifier must be percentage s percentage s especially for this is uh, reading strings and at the same time you can apply get s get s just it can read only strings okay <clears throat> so 
सो नेक्स्ट आई डिस्कस एस्केप सीक्वेंस कैरेक्टर्स एस्केप सीक्वेंस कैरेक्टर्स एस्केप सीक्वेंस कैरेक्टर्स सो एस्केप सीक्वेंस कैरेक्टर्स विल बी हैविंग सम स्पेशल इफेक्ट स्पेशल इफेक्ट वाइल प्रिंटिंग द आउटपुट ओके ऑन इट्स ओन इट डज नॉट प्रिंट एनीथिंग बट वेन एवर वी आर यूजिंग वन ऑफ द स्केप सीक्वेंस कैरेक्टर्स वी आर गोइंग टू हैव सम स्पेशल इफेक्ट ओके सो वन ऑफ द स्केप सीक्वेंस कैरेक्टर जस्ट नव इट्स जस्ट नव इट्स वी हैव डिस्कस इज बैक स्लैश एन सो बैक स्लैश एन मीन्स वेन इट इज एनकाउंटर्ड बाई कंपाइलर ऑटोमेटिकली द कंट्रोल द कंट्रोल विल बी शिफ्टेड टू नेक्स्ट लाइन ओके दट मीन्स ऑन द फ्रेश लाइन इट इज गोइंग टू प्रिंट द आउटपुट मीन्स बैक स्लैश एन This is for new line. Changing the control to next line, fresh line. Backslash T. This is horizontal tab. <coughs> horizontal tab means, and whenever you are giving this uh, give backslash T, what happens after tab number of characters? The the output is display. Next one, backslash V. This is vertical tab. Next, backslash y. This is for alert. So whenever you are giving backslash y, a small beep is displayed in the computer speaker. Okay, and backslash single quote. So this is for printing single quote. Single quote. And to print double quote, use backslash double quote. Now it is going to print double quote. okay you these are the some of the important escape sequence characters and whenever uh, time comes definitely i will be using all these characters or some of some uh, escape characters may be be using okay